the, the genesis of all this was the just the need for space and the fact that since particularly since Alan had been here uh, over the past few years we've grown. We wanted to involve as many people as we could to see what the entire congregation thought was the the vision and the, the need for our church. church. We had church conferences where everybody was given all of the information and everybody had an opportunity to come and participate in the decision. We had a 100% vote for what we were proposing at each one of them. And so we had to dream and we had to dream big because we knew of the potential growth of this church and the growth that we had before us and that God was going to allow us to accomplish in this space. We, we all knew that our contemporary worship, was, worship program was, uh, was really growing and uh, they didn't have really the adequate space they needed in order to, uh, to do the job that they needed to do on Sunday morning. So, so we had to provide the best um, possible scenario for a praise team and a praise band. And I believe that we have done that with our space. We need more space for uh, children's Sunday school, for preschool, and other activities involving the church. And we needed a safe place. Um, where we'd had them, we'd had them on the third floor before, and then they were in the basement, and we just, we couldn't grow our preschool program without getting more space for them. We felt like that is the growth area for this, for this place, for Hartwell and Hart County, and especially for our church. Um, our preschool ministry has been effective for a number of years, and so we felt like we needed to enhance the preschool also to enhance our children's capabilities. And so that is why this building was really built, um, primarily for children. We were faced with the reality that our current fellowship hall and gymnasium had a crack in the foundation. That would have been very expensive to fix, to repair. Also for our youth, um, we realized that our youth utilized the gym probably more than anybody. And the space in the gym, we realized too, could be used to um, functionally build youth space. It was very ambitious because this is the largest capital campaign we've ever been under. Even in, even if you look at the current uh, uh, current day value of dollars, we, you know, we, we, we've done some other things before, but never uh, at this magnitude, probably not since the original church was built. And then uh, circumstances were such, we learned that uh, it might be possible for us to acquire the Springs uh, plant. The land was a tremendous God thing because we knew the church was landlocked, and so the future was was different than it is now because we have the land to expand and to grow and to, to be the church God has called us to be. I think it is that they see it as a commitment that we're here for the long haul and that we are reaching out, that we're trying to grow, that, um, that we're open to other people. Um, you know, as Alan always says, it is not about us. It's about other people, it's about bringing others in, it's about coming up with the facilities that will handle new programs and will handle increased membership and this type of thing. Everything is about the future and about what, what this church can do to grow and to bring people in. And I think our willingness to share our facilities with others um, is a plus. Also. God is not through with us. And it's going to be unbelievable what God has us doing um, at the, in Hartwell. Um, the sky's the limit.